Hey, what up, gamers? Hey, I'm going to show y'all uh, some of my um, Neo Geo ports that I have uh, for other systems. Uh, preferably the Dreamcast. I got a few for the Xbox. Uh, and I got a lot for the, P the PS2. So, uh, you know, so let me, I'll kind of just show you. I just kind of wanted to show y'all kind of like what I had in my collection here. You know, just to give you an idea, because uh, some of these games are actually reported actually are pretty good. Um, like the most latest one I got off the Dreamcast here. Um, this one is uh, Breakers. So I just recently got this one, and actually this plays really well. You know, I didn't really realize how good a game this was uh, until I actually started playing it on the Dreamcast. So uh, nice port. They, I thought they did a decent job on this. So uh, that's uh, Breakers for the Dreamcast. Uh, and then we got uh, King of Fighters uh, uh, Dream Match 99, which is basically just King of Fighters 98 is all it is. But uh, it's still, I thought it was a decent port for the Dreamcast. I thought, you know, if you want to play it on another system, I actually got the Japanese one, too. So that's the Japanese and the U.S. Uh, King of Fighters 98 or King of Fighters 99 Dream, Cat, Dream Match, which, again, like I said, I thought those were some pretty decent ports. Um, then going into... Uh, King of Fighters 2000, which again I thought was another decent port for the Dreamcast. Uh, then we got uh, King of Fighters 2001, which is I thought was another one that I thought was a pretty decent port for the Dreamcast. Uh, 2002 I know I don't have, but uh, that, that one is probably another one on my want list too. But, uh, but I thought these were some decent King of Fighters ports. Uh, now these aren't ports, but these are still Capcom games uh, that came out on the Dreamcast, and that was um, uh, Capcom vs. SNK, because I really liked this game when it first came out, man, I was really excited about that, that's the actual Japanese one, I thought I had the US one, but I guess, I guess not, but anyway, um, but this is the Japanese one, um, I, like I said, I thought it was good, good solid gameplay, I really enjoyed this game. You know, and then it came out with, I guess, I don't know, people started complaining because Joe uh, Higashi or uh, damn what man, it's, you know, worst characters to have in the city. But I'm glad they added them in here because uh, it's nice to beat people with these two characters. So this was a fun game. And the add them on in this in this one, too, I thought was pretty good. So that's, um, that's definitely a good one to have. Now, this here. Capcom vs. SNK2, this is, uh, again, this didn't come out in the U.S. Uh, for the Dreamcast, which is unfortunate. I think the Dreamcast was on their way out at that time. But, man, what an awesome game, man. This was uh, on the uh, Naomi system, and the Naomi system, man, was pumping out some serious fighting games. And this was one of them. This is probably uh, my all-time, one of, at least one of my all-time favorite fighting games of all time on any platform. But uh, I thought this was a very, very solid, very solid game, man. I really enjoyed this a lot. God will go. <coughs> or Shan Nakuma. You know, they beast on here. And uh, lastly on that is actually uh, the fan disc. So now the fan disc uh, got Haramaru on the cover with uh, Ryu on the rooftop, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, this, I think, has got some uh, developers... Uh, uh, stuff in there, you know, maybe some fights by the developers and some tournament matches and I think some downloadable colors or something like that, but nice nice uh, piece to have to the collection if you're a Capcom SNK fan, which I am, so I thought that was a good piece to have. Now, this piece here, Last Blade 2. Man, Last Blade 2 is another one of my all-time favorite games for the Neo or any system, you know, I just thought this was like a real, really solid game, really beautiful game, you know, so I really, really love me some Last Blade 2, and I thought it ported pretty well, too, so I really like this on the port, I think it's kind of getting a little pricey, too, you know, but uh, if you could find it, I say definitely pick it up, you know, if you're a Samurai Showdown fan, this Last Blade 2 is a solid fighter, uh, then, of course, Fatal Fury, um, you know, this is, uh, I thought I had this for the Japanese one. I guess I don't. But this is the U.S. one. That's the U.S. one, too, by the way. Um, you know, and, of course, these games are really getting up there in price now. You know, but I just bought them. This was actually the first time I got hip 
Tagaro was on the Dreamcast, you know, a friend of mine had, and he was playing it. I went over his house, I'm like, man, what are you playing? He was telling me about this Garo, and he was playing it and stuff, and I fell in love with it ever since. You know, I got the MDS, the AES, and got it on here, too. I don't have it on the PS2, uh, you know, the PS2 port, but uh, I, I like buying it. Some I like, I buy it on different, uh, you know, platforms, so I don't mind. And this is definitely a solid game, so you better try to get it before it gets too outrageous, which is on its way now. But anyway, it's a nice game. Uh, let's get into some of my um, Xbox games here. So, uh, now the Xbox, the Xbox games here, I got, uh, this is a... Uh, King of Fighters 2001, is it 2001? Yeah, 2000, no, 2002 and 2003. So this, and this is for the Xbox. Uh, I got a backup copy, so I know after I played it, I know it's a solid, it plays solid on here, so I like it. This is a sealed copy, you know, so I said I couldn't, just couldn't open it up, just didn't have the heart. So, but, you know, I liked it on this, it's a nice port, you know, on that. Uh, Neo Wade, another good one. You know, got Young Geese on here, I thought, which was kind of cool. You know, this was actually a port from the Tom, a Thomas Wade, uh, which I thought was pretty nice, too. So this is, uh, you know, not bad, not bad of a series. Not bad at all. I thought it was okay. Um, then, of course, uh, SBC Chaos, which is pretty much um, uh, SNK's version of Cap Bomb versus SNK. Um, you know, and, of course, the introduction of uh, Violent Ken, you know, which is... Seem to be a fan favorite, you know, everybody like Violet Kid, which is cool. You know, I like seeing Violet Kid. I'm glad, you know, they made Kid a little bit more evil, you know. So, a good port, too. You know, I thought it was a pretty good port. You know, wasn't bad at all. Then, uh, good old Metal Slug series. So, here's Metal Slug 3. Um, I don't think about it. So, I guess this is just going to be some of my games, because uh, now that I think about it, I think I got X on the PlayStation. I don't have Metal Slug. I remember Metal Slug came out on the side. Never bought it for that. But anyway, Metal Slug 3 for the Xbox. You know, it's Metal Slug. What can I say? Metal Slug 3 is probably my favorite Metal Slug. You know, so I dug that. Um, then here's Metal Slug uh, 4 and 5. And uh, all of these are complete. This is two di This is a two-disc, by the way, too, which I thought was kind of cool. I like that they combined the manual, too. You know, so, I mean, this one, this one I like, you know, I thought this was a good port to have. I like that they combine, combine uh, games like that on the systems. I thought it was pretty nice. So, let's take a look at uh, some of these uh, PlayStation games now. So, uh, you know, the PlayStation games, uh, this one is uh, King of Fighters 11. King of Fighters 11, I got to say, was probably my least favorite out of all of the King of Fighters because it was so cheap. That boss was so ridiculously cheap. I don't think I ever beat this game because that boss was just so ridiculously cheap. But um, it was ported from the Thomas Wade. So, you know, so I mean, this is, you know, if you want to King of Fighters, like I said, I can't recommend that. I don't, it's just, only because I bought it, only because it's a King of Fighters. You know what I mean? But it was just too hard for me. Here's uh, King of Fighters 2000 and 2001, uh, you know, and uh, these two, you know, of course, are two decent games, too. You know, these were ported pretty nicely, too, uh, so I thought these were pretty nice. No, not bad to have, not bad to have at all. Um, King of Fighters 98, now I got the Japanese version and the U.S. version. King of Fighters 98 is probably my favorite out of all the King of Fighters series, it's just, it's just a nice series. And I think it plays a little smoother on the Japanese one. Got a little slowdown, a little lag on the um, U.S. one. But still, good ports to have, most definitely. You know, King of Fighters 98 is a solid, solid game, you know. As well as, here's uh, King of Fighters. Now, this wasn't a port, I don't think. No, it wasn't a port. But uh, this is King of Fighters uh, 2006. I thought it was a very good game. I don't think they really gave this game enough love. I thought it played nice. I liked the combos. I liked how it played. I liked how it looked, you know, with the 3D people in it. But, uh, you know, it just didn't get enough love. But I'm like, it's okay with me. So I'm like, I, I like this. So I added it to my collection, you know. And then this is uh, King of Fighters Maximum Impact. Now, King of Fighters Maximum Impact, uh, I didn't think it played as well as uh, 2006. 
But I like the idea that they were trying to go 3D and they wanted to see what their characters look like in 3D. So I, I thought it was okay to have, you know, and this is a two disc or two. I think the other one is more like a fan disc, like video or matches or something on it. You know, I forgot it's been a while, but special features and stuff like that. But, you know, definitely a good one to have. Now, what else we got here? So, uh, let's see here. So, I'm going to just go from the top here. Now, this is uh, SNK Arcade Classic 1. SNK Arcade Classic 1, 16 games in it. Man, I was hoping they would have continued this series. Because wouldn't this have been awful to have about, like, awesome to have a whole collection, basically, on the PlayStation. You know, volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I, would, I just thought this would have been a great series to have. But they stopped after this one which I was kind of disappointed that they did, but I'm still glad they did this one. I mean, hey, you can play Baseball Stars 2 on here, Magician Lord on here, Metal Slug, Neo Turf Master, you know, Shock Troopers 1. So, I mean, they got some pretty last resort. They got some pretty decent games on here, you know, so I'd say definitely I would recommend that one. Um, Capcom versus SNK 2. Now, again, since I'm a big fanboy, this is one of my favorite fighters. I had to get the Japanese version. I mean, I like the art on that, too. I just like Chun Lee on the cover of that. I just think that's some really good artwork. You can see that there. And then I also got uh, the U.S. version, too. So, I mean, I like the gameplay on here. Love playing, um, you know, Garu Gaul or Shin Akuma. You know, love fighting against them. You know, really challenging. I think this is a really solid, really fun game. One of my all-time favorites, most definitely. Our uh, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, this is the Japanese one, then I got the U.S. one as well. Um, I would have, you know, I would have liked this one to be a little bit better. I mean, it was still okay, it was still pretty fun, but it was just something about it that just didn't wow me, you know what I mean? It just didn't have a wow factor to it, to me. Maybe because the characters seemed like they were a little bit watered down, they didn't really seem like the characters that I grew up playing, you know, with, they just seemed a little bit too watered down for me. But, you know, all in all, I still think it was a pretty good uh, game to have, you know. Now, and again, this wasn't a port either. This came out specifically for the PS2, which is Metal Slug 2. And this Metal Slug 2, I mean, not Metal Slug 2, it's just Metal Slug, the 3D one. Um, man, I tried to get into it for a while. It just didn't have the same Metal Slug feel to it. The camera angles were kind of bad and stuff. So I kind of just was like, eh, I did, never completed it, you know. So I was like, you know, but it's all right to have in the collection. I said, well, you know, it's all right to have in the collection. But now, Metal Slug Anthology, that's a different story. Now, this one I got on the Wii, too. I know as I'm thinking about this the other game since I have it on, but... Uh, got all of them on here, even six. Six I got for the Thomas Wade, too. Um, and uh, this is a good one to have. I understand that this was like around the end of the PS2. So a lot of these, this one is like hard to come by. And uh, a lot of people want it. Uh, you know, and it's definitely a good one to have. Absolutely. I mean, if you can find it, I say pick it up. All of the metal slugs on one disc, can't beat that. You know. So the next uh, anthology here. Good old Samurai Showdown. So to have Samurai Showdown, this is actually has one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six on here too. Six came out on the Thomas Way too. So uh, this one, hey, you know, hey, you got all the Samurai Showdowns on here. My only disappointment is that they didn't put special on here. If they didn't put special on here, like as a unlockable, you know, have to have to beat all of the games or something like that, put it on there as an unlockable. This would have been a killer. Oh my goodness, this would have been a killer one. To have. Still a good series and a good anthology all in all. You know, I definitely recommend that. Uh, then our next series here um, is actually they did it on two discs, which I'm glad they did because this is definitely a good series to add to. This is the um, Fatal Fury series. So this is Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury 2, Fatal Fury Special, and Fatal Fury 3 all on one disc. So you can get your Terry on, Terry Bogard on, and Andy Bogard, but, you know, so, nice series, you know, definitely nice to have on the um, PlayStation there. Um, then also, Fatal Fury, uh, the, uh, and, and Archive, Battle Archive Volume 2. This one got the Real Bout series, which is nice, too. That, that's a nice series, most definitely. 
uh, got a real bow, real bow special, and real bow to the newcomers on here. You know, Garo would have been nice to put on here too, but you know, even as a separate disc, Garo would be good to have. But Garo would have been nice to have on this anthology too. But still a good, decent series all in all. Uh, then what else we got here? So the next series uh, or anthology I got here is uh, Art of Fighting. So Art of Fighting got one, two, and three. Three is, of course, my favorite. You know, I like those big sprites on here. So, uh, you know, this is definitely a good one to have, too. So that's the Art of Fighting series. Um, I like that, too. And then last but not least is the uh, World Heroes Anthology. So the World si Heroes Anthology, I got all four of the World Heroes on there. World Heroes, World Heroes 2, World Heroes 2 Jet. And World Heroes Perfect, which of course everybody knows World Heroes Perfect is the best one out of all of them, you know. Wasn't a big, big fan of the World Heroes series, but still, I mean, all in all, you know, it's a decent fighter, uh, you know, and I, I like it, you know what I mean? So, all in all, it's a good one to have, so. But I just kind of wanted to spend a little bit of time here, you know, just show y'all, uh, you know, my Neo Geo ports here. So, hope you liked it. You know, again, uh, I appreciate everybody that watches my channel and subscribe and stuff, you know, and leave comments. I really appreciate it. So, you know, and I hope you appreciate this video, too. You know, like I said, just showing love, you know, to the Neo Geo family out there. But uh, thanks again for watching. Peace.